Have you ever been recording and heard your artist say something like, I heard echo in the headphones or a delay in the headphones? Stay tuned and we're gonna figure out how to make all of that latency go away. What up, yo? This your boy Wavy Wayne. Now, this issue is one of the most common issues, especially with new engineers and some experienced engineers. <laughs> but basically, the situation arises when you have an artist in the booth and they put the headphones on, they start to rap or sing their uh, takes, and they hearing themselves back at a delayed time. And they experience this and think that it's a echo. At least that's what they call it. Most of the clients not going to say, I hear latency, but that is actually what is happening at that point. Now, latency is the time that it takes from the signal to travel down to the microphone, uh, through the XLR, through your audio interface, through the computer, out of comp Pro Tools, back through the uh, speaker cables and back to the artist's headphones. All of that processing takes time the longer time it takes the more latency will be experienced so there is a setting in pro tools that we can do that we can set to actually minimize that latency all right so before you start your pro tools session you always want to go and check your hardware buffer size to do this you just go up to the setup menu choose playback engine and when the playback engine opens up, you'll see that the hardware buffer size is set right here. Okay, one of the little uh, controls right at the top. The hardware buffer size is going to determine how much processing power Pro Tools is going to give uh, for your uh, native processing. So that means any native plugins that you may have and also for any live inputs like recording. All right. So the rule of thumb is always high for mixing low for recording the higher you set the hardware buffer size the more processing you will have allowing you to have more plugins on tracks and even have more tracks and do more effects but that is going to increase the latency so while you're recording you want to set that hardware buffer size low so that you can have minimal latency all right so again you just want to go up to the setup menu choose playback engine and then we're going to choose the hardware buffer size now the Choices that you will have for your hardware buffer size will vary depending on the type of audio interface that you have and which kind of computer you're using, right? Um, every computer can't go all the way down to 32 samples on the hardware buffer size. So you may be stuck with 64 samples or maybe 128 samples. I know some people that are stuck at 256 samples. And at that point, honestly, you're going to experience some latency. What I found to work best for me uh, in most cases at this, a nice little happy medium between processing power and latency is 128 samples. So I typically will have my hardware buffer size set to 128 samples as I'm recording. This will be enough for me to use any processing that I need without getting a CPU error. And also for my artists, they won't even notice the latency. But as you see, I can even go a little bit lower. So if I'm doing something where I'm not processing as much, then I'll go ahead and drop down to maybe 64 samples or 32 samples, all right? So I set the hardware buffer size low for recording high for mixing and latency gone all right another reason that you might be experiencing latency maybe because you have a plug-in on that track like if you have auto tune inserted on inserted on the track or some other uh, processing intensive plugins inserted on that track you may be experiencing uh, latency from that so you may want to remove those plugins or make them inactive as you are working that's the wavy way tip of the day simple as that you don't want your artists in there dealing with that latency go so go ahead and make sure before every session whether it's a recording or a mixing session that you check your hardware buffer size all right just go up to that setup menu choose playback engine check the hardware buffer size make that make sure that it's set high when you mixing to the highest and the lowest possible when you are recording all right yeah be dope <laughs>